Hey, Steve Guttenberg here, and I am the Audiophiliac, and I'm here with Dr. Julie Glick in her New York office, but you're leaving New York, Julie. You're going to move to uh, beautiful Beverly Hills. I am. I'm so sad to leave New York, and it's been an amazing experience here. It's where I came um, came up with the idea, the concept for, this, for the business, um, to provide uh, musicians, audiophiles, um, anyone a neutral place to go to to listen to different many different manufacturers um, in ear monitor products uh, before they're customized so you know they could a b different companies um, and decide for themselves what was right for them because um, sound quality is, is such a personal uh, preference um, so yeah it's been amazing and New York has been amazingly supportive and I'm gonna miss everybody here but I'm just in California, it's not that far. So I would, <laughs> it's not that far. I'd love to see you there, but oh, if, yeah, I'll be over. okay, good. It's an excuse yeah. to come, you know, yeah. hang out in California. Um, but you know, I'm happy to see you there, and I'm going to be offering, you know, the same services there to to the musicians and audiophiles. So I think I'm pretty much the only place in LA that you're able to to dump, to hear all the different companies' um, products and, and and the companies are. Uh, JH Audio, Ultimate Ears, Sensophonics, 64 Audio, Noble Audio. Um, does that cover it? I think that's it. Yeah. So all the major brands. And the other thing you do that's kind of uh, unusual is you do uh, full frequency hearing tests? I do. So I, so a, a standard hearing test uh, that most audiologists do are from, as from 250 hertz to 8 uh, eight thousand hertz um, I have specialized equipment that tests out to 20,000 Hertz so I found it to be really interesting and very you know very revealing to uh, answer people's questions uh, sometimes they feel like their hearing is better on in one ear over the other mm -hmm. and just testing to 8k doesn't show it always mm -hmm. um, so it helps answer questions that you know just a standardized test doesn't show and and it also helps to explain the, the whole hearing uh, landscape. So, um, well, here's, a, here's a question though. So if you saw that somebody was down uh, 8 dB at 10K, can, can you make a, um, an in-ear monitor and then have them boost that slightly to compensate? So, you know, down 8 dB at 10K. I mean, well, it would- totally correct, right. but to compensate. Well, so for the for the higher frequencies, there's not like there's not uh, normative data, so it's basically you know it's going to be my opinion on on how. But if you know if you if you are varying just slightly off from normal, I probably wouldn't make an adjustment. But actually, yes, I do work with some companies that if you have any kind of hearing loss, they'll actually adjust the frequency response of the earphones to compensate for that so you don't simply have to turn it up too loud. Right, that's what I mean. Yes, so absolutely. So if it was 4K and you were like 10 dB down, could you, no? Well, 10 dB, you probably okay. wouldn't do it, but no, there's something more- Bring it back, like bring it back 4 or 5 dB or something. Um, yeah, you could, you can, yes, you can alter it, but I would probably reserve those kinds of changes for when it's more significant. Um, but yes, um, for just one for yeah. I mean, you don't want to alter too much of, of well, I understand. yeah. But yes, we can accommodate for sure. I mean, they're custom products, so not all the companies will do that, but I do have some companies that yeah. will. I think that's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it was wonderful seeing you, Julie, and I'm Aww. gonna miss you. I'm gonna you miss you too. Thank you, you for your support. Out to lunch and then hanging out and everything. I know. Not but to mention doing incredible impressions for my ears. Aww. Well, I'll still be back and I'll let you know when I'm here. Or like I said, please let me know when you, you come out your West. Injector thing? Sure, why not? I mean, you gotta, you have to have, you know, something that keeps everyone, a skill that keeps people coming back to you, right? So why not? <laughs> Thanks so much. And the name of your company, we didn't, we didn't say it. Ah, Musicians Hearing Solutions. So it's musiciansharingsolutions.com. Okay. And thank you for all your support, Steve. Appreciate it. See you soon. See you.